Hey you guys, and welcome to Angelica Goddess Channel. And today we have, I don't know what it is actually, I just opened it. It is the Witch's Moon. You guys can see that. I'm so excited. Now, I ordered August box late and September box. So I'm not quite sure which one this is. Okay, so let me check it out and see. Oh, something on the bottom. But this is what the box looks like all over. And then it comes in the mail in a solid brown box so you don't know what's in it. All right, I see like loose herbs in here, so something escaped in here. <laughs> Let's see. All right, I see some stuff. I don't know what it is. It's a card. I give myself permission to switch off my mind and have some fun. So that is that. And then it says fairy magic. So I'm guessing this is the August box. This is fairy magic. And this is everything it came in. And it says, during these bright days and dark nights, we work to carefully connect with other worlds, hoping to obtain wisdom and knowledge. Just beyond our physical sight lie energies that are constantly at work. Realms that are full of life and magical beings that are not bound to the same perceptions that we work with each day. As seekers, we are always aware of other forces pushing their own manifestations through our thick fog of reality. In this very special collection, we work with the energies and magic of the fairy realm. We are so deeply connected to the beauty and raw authenticity of the fae and are so thrilled to finally provide these one-of-a-kind items for your practice. It's so exciting, you guys. Okay, so I'm not gonna read all of it because you can see there is a lot to go through, but I will get started with the contents of the box. Okay, so we have this beautiful artwork here and it says the Fae Offering. I love that. Isn't that beautiful? That is very beautiful. And it's like a guy on there. And he has he's a fairy, his wings, I guess. That is so beautiful. And then it says the fate offering. Okay. Good. Kind of like a light baby scent or something. And it has herbs in it, of course. Very beautiful. Sorry, I have to like reach far to put it down. Okay, and then something else here. Let me just say, I can watch anybody's videos. We're like in our second week in September and I'm just doing the August box. So, oh my goodness. Well, I see this. It looked like a pair of wings. Yes, that connects to something. I didn't open something first, apparently. So, okay. But, all right, at the bottom of the box, I pull out some amber incense. So we have amber incense. And there's something here and I'm trying to get it out. I can't tell what it is. Ugh. Man, this is tough. All right, it looks to be a figurine or something. Sorry guys, I gotta use super strength on this one. Oh, now that's beautiful. Look at that. It looks like a fairy. So, that explains some things. Ugh. There we go, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Very beautiful. It's a fairy statue. It 
comes in. Hard to see a little bit. Very nice. Okay, so. And then I have this. It looks like moss, like a little wreath or something, or maybe she goes inside of it. Maybe you set it in your garden or on your altar or something. That's what I'm thinking for this. And this is the last thing in the box, you guys. But, I mean, beautiful, right? Very nice. I love it. And I, got, I forgot to smell the amber for you guys. I'm sorry. Amber incense. Smells good. Thumbs up on that. That smells good. Okay, so let's go over some of these things in the box. The magical items in this box are as follows. The fairy statue with removable wings. The fairy is a vast existence of various types of traditions known for its magical attributes and personalities. Specific to fairies and fae, you may find brownies, pixies, gnomes, merfolk, and many other elemental spirits. Among the countless stories and ideas regarding the fairy, there can be newfound beauty resting below the surface. And then it goes on, and I can't read all of it to you guys, but isn't this beautiful? Okay, and the next thing is the grapevine and moss fairy nest. I'm guessing that's this. Made from grapevines and moss, this beautiful handmade fairy nest was created to accompany your fairy statue. Simply stand your statue within the center of the nest when placing on your altar or sacred space. Offerings and gifts can also be placed within this nest, such as a variety of herbs and flowers, as well as stones, trinkets, coins, and shells. Although you may not find that these items are physically taken, these spirits can take the essence of the items with them as an offering. It is important that you frequent these place, frequently replace offerings. So that's the nest that comes with the fairy. And then there is the Fairy Queen of Titania Book of Shadows artwork. So you have two of those that come with these. And we have partnered with a very talented local artist to create an exclusive piece of artwork to provide information regarding the lore and legend of Titania or the Fairy Queen. The Fairy Queen personal personifies magic in all of her roles from perspective creative tricks of all realms to dedicated priestess observing the ways of the old. She is both the seductive enchantress and the vulnerable keeper of the cauldron. The well of the wired, I'm sorry you guys, which contains anything that ever was and will be. Artwork by A. E. Alden. So that is she. And then we have the Fairy King of Oberon Book of Shadows artwork. We have also included an exclusive piece of artwork to provide information regarding the lore and legend of the Oberon, or the Fairy King. The Oberon's hostility to human dishonesty is relevant because he believes us to be capable of greater virtues, primarily self-discipline. He demands for personal accountability, is meant to be hopeful, suggesting that moving forward, Humanity and nature will learn to coexist. The story's message reflects that it is incumbent upon humanity to rebuild a relationship with nature. Artwork also by A.E. Alden. Okay, so that is the Fae King. Fairy King. Hand rolled Fae offering twin spell candles. So those are the candles. I really don't want to hold it up again because like roses were coming off of them really bad. Um, okay, so we have hand rolled and charged these candles with the purpose of acting as an offering to the fairies. 
We would recommend placing these on a small plate and including other offerings around them. These candles can be burned together or at one time. We always recommend being comfortable within your space so that you may speak your words clearly out loud, enhancing your intention. As the flame from these candles dance before you, take time to listen intently, connecting with the energies that may be dancing around you. We have enchanted these candles with oils and yang yang and amber. So that is what these are. Very beautiful hand rolled candles. It's just, everything's coming off of them, but otherwise nice. And then we have the Fae Offering Incantation Book of Shadows artwork. So I believe you guys, let me see here. I believe that is this. I think that's this. Now we have on our list, Jasmine Buds, a wonderful attractor, tractor herb. Jasmine brings energies of love and good luck into your sacred space. So we have Jasmine. Blue cornflower, which is really pretty. And it says, blue cornflower is another wonderful herb to have in your herbal cabinet. Blue cornflower is commonly used for psychic development and increasing effectiveness during divination practices. So carry the essence of magic within the energies. Blue cornflower is a wonderful herb to work with during your pursuit of spiritual knowledge, elemental connection, earth, planetary connection, and Venus. So it's really pretty blue. Okay, and then let's see, the jasmine, the cornflower, the rose petals, you have the rose petals. And I love how they label everything so you know what everything is. Personalized oracle reading. So that is this, with the butterfly. And on the back it says, I give myself permission to switch off my mind and have some fun. I love that. So that's what it says on the back. Very nice, huh? Very nice. Parchment paper. We believe that writing down your intentions and goals push you further in accomplishing them. So they always give you an extra sheet of paper For writing your intentions so that's cool um let's see the grapevine moss fairy nest that came with the fairy the fairy queen the book of shadows the fairy king the hand rolled candles i showed you those oh let's keep going the anointing oil that's what i wanted to show you guys we have created this magical anointing oil with the intention of brightening, bright, bringing bright protective energies into your aura and sacred space. This is a wonderful oil to anoint specific magical tools with as well such as statues, coins, talismans, etc. Along with your other guardian blends, this very special anointing oil brings with it a sense of calm and collectiveness. So that's nice. It does smell kind of soothing, kind of, you know, it's kind of a baby scent though. I don't know. That's kind of what it smelled like to me. And of course it has like all the herbs inside. And then we have the rough amber. That's what that is. So we saw that big stone and I didn't know what it was. That is rough amber. Wow, it's very lightweight. We are thrilled to be able to include a, include a piece of rough amber within this collection. Amber is fossilized resin that can be found in a variety of green, blue, and red hues. Amber is a wonderful transmutation stone, turning negative energies into positive energies. As amber is a resin, the attraction of natural spirits and fairies will be prominent. Amber is a true facilitator when working to become closer to all things that reside within earthy energies. 
Place this stone upon your altar and use it as an offering in your fairy gardener space. So that's cool. It's really lightweight. Wow. Okay, so let me see here. The other world sacred salt. And that was the salt that had the, if you guys can see that, hard to see. Oh my God, I'm spilling it everywhere. <gasps> no, don't spill anymore. Okay, I can't show you because it's spilling out, but it has rose petals and lavender. And I made a mess. And it says, we have created this sacred salt with the intention of allowing you to connect with other worlds such as the realms that sit outside of our reach. As you sit with these natural energies, practice breath work rituals that may allow you to heighten your consciousness. While you are free of anxiety, negative self-talk or worry, allow yourself to explore the ideas and concepts you wish to connect with. And it goes on more to tell you about it, but this is the other world's sacred salt. So I believe that is all that came in this box, you guys. And this is the, um, this is the moon box. So, this is the moon box and it was magical and amazing. I love the fairy theme. I love all of these. Every time they come in, uh, I would just love to collect so many of these. The artwork is just beautiful. It's beautiful and I can't wait till next month. So, thank you guys for watching. Please click like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.